Hi guys, welcome back for me. As you can see, there's a different location behind me. And if you guys have been catching up with my community post or like Patreon updates and stuff like that, I officially moved out of my house. Ooh, insert clapping. So yeah, it looks a little different behind me. I'm still getting the setup done correctly. So as you can see, like I am looking towards this way because my monitor is right here. So, and the camera's right in the middle. So I'm still kind of figuring out how to set that up perfectly, but I got the most uh, basic important parts done. And today we're gonna be continuing Rogue One. I did rewatch the first half that I was doing back home or in Florida, because I feel like I kind of needed my brain to rewire and to remember everything. As you guys know, I have a forgetful mind at times. So I had to rewatch the first half so it can be like fresh, freshly in there before we start the second half. So I'm excited to get right back into this because I feel like there's so many movies that I've been wanting to watch, especially off of Patreon. You guys also wanted me to watch Shawshank Redemption, I believe. I don't know anything about the movie. As you guys know, I do not watch the trailers because I kind of want the movie to surprise me, but I'm excited to watch that, especially with Halloween coming in. We're going to be watching a lot of Halloween original classic movies that you guys know that I have never watched. And I love horror movies, so it's kind of, it's going to be fun. Anyway, so we're going to continue Rogue One and I'm not going to say anything about it yet. I just kind of want to start it and then I'm going to continue from there and talk about all the things that I have so far in my brain and what I think may occur. So let's just head right into part two and I just want to do a little intro and I'm ready to get back in the game. I'm excited. <laughs> Lonely, I imagine. Since Leo died, yes. Oh. Is was there something that happened similar to this, or was this scene? Some, what is happening? Search the house. <laughs> was there a scene in a? I can't remember. It just seems familiar. Oh, look, here's Lyra back from the dead. It's a miracle. Stop! Think very carefully. You will never win. Do it. <laughs> My child, go. We have a long ride ahead of us. This will be fun. <laughs> Look, I have to go. What kind of weapon? A planet killer. Someone named Urso sent him, some old friend of Saul's. Get in there, Saul. There's spies everywhere. <laughs> oh, shit. What's all this? Come on, let's see some scat docs. Yeah, of course. My gloves. <laughs> no! What have you done? Come now. We'll be all right. <laughs> Okay. I thought we had everybody. You wanna get out of here? Hey! Move at me! What is going on? <gasps> oh shit. Congratulations. You are being rescued. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I think this is the fourth planet? Jin Urso, daughter of Galen Urso. A known Imperial collaborator in weapons development. Hmm. With the power to destroy entire planets. The pilot says he was sent by your father. He's alive. We need to stop this weapon before it is finished. And if I do it, we'll make sure you go free. Eee. Our oldie characters. Why does she get a blaster and I don't? <laughs> what? I know how to use it. That's what I'm afraid of. Give it to me. Where'd you get it? I found it. I find that answer vague and unconvincing. <laughs> He's just, just... Trust goes both ways. You're letting her keep it. Would you like to know the probability of her using it against you? 
It's high. <laughs> Let's get going. It's very high. <laughs> I love the humor that they give them. Uh, 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 as for you, uh, and I gave it to them. They did not find it. He's he's a uh, Caitlin Esso. Great actor. Poor Gully. Uh, poor Gully. Caitlin Esso sent me. He told me to find you. What does that mean? Apparently, you've lost a rather talkative cargo pilot. Senate gets wind of our project. Countless systems will flock to the rebellion. Oh. The way they made him. Oh, crud. <laughs> I'm surprised you're so concerned with my safety. I'm not. I'm just worried they might miss you. And hit me. <laughs> Doesn't sound so bad to me. <laughs> Just drops it. Okay, yeah, let's see what, what this was about. That's that's what poor gullet means? Poor gullet is safe. <laughs> oh, okay. What have you really brought me? Poor gullet will know the truth. The unfortunate side effect is that one tends to lose one's mind. Uh, I don't. I'm not. Uh. <laughs> He's changed throughout the years. I don't know what is going on. May the force of others be with you. Trade that necklace for a glimpse into your future. I'm speaking to you. Is she doing this out of like curiosity? How did you know I was wearing a necklace? Well, that answer you must pay. What do you know about kyber crystals? My father, he... He said they powered the Jedi's lightsabers. Come on, let's go. The strongest stars have hearts of kyber. But this um, is what the quest protects her. Are they, like, onto them? Not, not, not. It's not part of the plan. Oh, that's okay. Did you know that wasn't me? <sighs> of course. I thought I told you to stay on the ship. There are a lot of explosions for two people blending in. You're right. <laughs> that's true. I should just wait on the ship. These are prisoners. Yes, where are you taking them? I am taking them to imprison them in prison. He is taking us to the quiet. quiet. And there's a fresh <laughs> one if you mouth off again. We'll take them. I'm capable of running my own diagnostics, thank you very much. Learn pass in peace. Ah. The force is with me, and I am with the force. And I fear nothing for all this. As the force wills it. Hey, stop right there. Is your foot all right? Because me and my friends will answer to Saw Gerrera. Because you came now. Because I'm the daughter of Galen Erso. Shut up! Are you kidding me? I'm blind! <laughs> oh. I'm thinking she has to, like, answer to someone. There is more than one sort of prison, Captain. I sense that you carry yours wherever you go. Hmm. He's wise. All days. It's a trap, isn't it? <laughs> what? The oh. pilot. The message. All of it. 
I wonder if she thought she could do it because of the perspective she had on him. The Alliance wants my father. They think he sent you a message about a weapon. I guess they think by sending me, you might actually help them out. The rebels, whatever it is you're calling yourself these days. All it's ever brought me is pain. You can stand to see the Imperial flag rain across the galaxy. It's not a problem if you don't look up. Mm. I'm gonna kill him! No, no! No, wait for me! Okay. Okay. Are you the pilot? Oh my gosh, I forgot he lost his mind, basically. I brought the message. I'm the pilot. I'm the pilot. Okay. Okay, well, he, okay. Now, where is Galen? Remembering some stuff. And how desperately I've missed her. Jin, my stardust. I can't imagine what you think of me. I learned to lie. I played the part of a beaten man resigned to the sanctuary of his work. I made myself indispensable. And all the while, I laid the groundwork up for my revenge. We call it the Death Star. There is no better name, and the day is coming soon when it will be unleashed. Wow, I didn't. Deep within the system, a flaw so small and powerful they will never find it. But Jin, I didn't think it. I didn't know it was because of that. Set off a chain reaction that will destroy the entire. Shh. Although there's a problem on the horizon. There's no horizon. <laughs> Save the rebellion! Save the dream! He's just gonna stay behind? He just started running? I remember him staying and just going down with it. Imagine being in that and watching all of that go down. <laughs> Not sure if you're going to be able to make it out. I believe I owe you an apology, Director Krennic. That's Tarkin, right? Tarkin? We have to kill Galen Erso while we have the chance. Wait. You're wrong about my father. He did build it. Because he knew they'd do it without him. Mm. Father made a choice. Everything happened so fast. Did you see it? I mean, it was overwhelming for her. I think it's crazy that. Blow the reactor, the module, the whole system goes down. We need some word to mm. the hands. I've done that. We're in the heart of Imperial territory. Then we'll find him and bring him back. Then he can tell them himself. I was remembering the other movie when they did destroy the Death Star. I like how you slowly begin to watch the movies and everything just kind of connects in different forms throughout it. Now they're all just heading there. <laughs> I forget how much these movies stress me out. <laughs> it's good to be back. Here's what we're doing. Hopefully the storm keeps up and keeps us hidden down here. Bodhi, you're coming with me. Something seems off. All I want to do right now is get a handle on what we're up against. So we're gonna go very small and very careful up the rise and see what's what. I'm kind of nervous. It just seems off. The force moves darkly near a creature that's about to kill. His weapon was in the sniper configuration. Oh no, don't tell me. Fire! Stop! Stop! Credit! Stop! It was me! It was me! You won't do it. No. They have nothing to do with it. Spare them. I hope. I hope. I was hoping at least Jin wouldn't like reach up and, and see everything go down. Clear the area. No, 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 no! Tell them to hold off! Jin's on that platform! Oh. Alliance forces on site, please confirm. Get the squadron leader on. Get him on now. They're already engaged, sir. So. <laughs> okay. Father!
15 minutes in and this is where I left off. <laughs> okay. Papa, Papa, it's me. It's Jin. No way. That's been years. Look at you. They finally meet and he's so like. Much to tell you. No. Papa, come on. Come on. Come on. Move. At least, like. At least she gets like, like closure, but like not seeing him for years and having him. You lied about why we came here, and you lied about why you went up alone. I had every chance to pull the trigger, but did I? <sighs> did I? I've been in this fight since I was six years old. You're not the only one who lost everything. Mm. Some of us just decided to do something about it. You can't talk your way around this. I don't have to. Honestly, I see I see both of theirs. <laughs> Take chills. That's crazy. I expect you not to rest until you can assure the Emperor that Galen Erso has not compromised this weapon in any way. Ooh. So I'm still in command? <laughs> for some reason, it's so hard for me to watch these scenes where he does that because Be careful it makes not me to feel like, a, on your like aspirations. I'm Director. You're asking us to invade an Imperial installation based on nothing but hope. Rebellions are built on hope. Without the full support of the Council, the odds are too great. They went... What bothers me is that they brought her there. Right, like she was there when they were asking her about her father. And they knew the way that she felt about the rebellion and about everything that's going on. And even now when she's returned from everything that's happened so far, she has she's has an a hundred percent decision of what to do and they they don't see the difference, which is what would encourage me more to incline to her decision, which is like what? They were never gonna believe you. I appreciate the support. But I do. I believe you. We've all done terrible things on behalf of the rebellion. Spies, saboteurs, assassins. And every time I walked away from something I wanted to forget, I told myself it was for a cause that I believed in. A cause that was worth it. We can go. Hey, you're up. <laughs> go, go, go! Jin, I'll be there for you. <laughs> Cassian said I had to. <laughs> I was uh, got a little bit emotional. May the force be with us. <laughs> rogue One. Rogue One? There is no Rogue One. Well, there is now. He served me well during the Clone Wars and has lived in hiding since the Emperor's purge. Yes, I will send for him. You will need someone you can trust. I would trust her with my life. Captain Antilles, Senator, I have a mission for you, sir. We were rerouted from Edo Flight Station. Transmitting clearance code now. Transmitting. Shit. Trust. <laughs> it's emotional. You are cleared for entry. Yes. Impressive. What should I do? Keep the engine running. You're our only way out of here. Holy cricket. That's crazy. It's starting! I'm... I'm like waiting for it to go down. Good luck, little sister. <laughs> I'm scared of things happening right now. 
I've got a bad feeling about it. Hey. Quiet. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Are we blind? Deploy the garrison! No! I'm like nervous. I... <laughs> the fuck? That won't be necessary. <laughs> that works. I need to speak with Admiral Radis. He's returned to his ship. He's going to fight. Why does nobody ever tell me anything, Artur? <laughs> That's crazy. Director, the rebel fleet is amassing outside the shields. I feel like there's so much happening for them, they don't even know what to do. <laughs> This. I'm just getting like goosebumps as if the, you wanted one, right? Everything keeps uh, your behavior, Janessa, growing or is happening. Continually unexpected. Forgot about these. Over there. Okay, what's going on out there? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh well. <laughs> oh my gosh. More fighters. That's fine. I need help. Oh my black saber stardust. That's it. How do you know that? I know because it's me. Everything's going down all at once right now. No. If they open the shield gate, you can broadcast from the tower. <laughs> I'm sorry, like. I feel like my heartbeat is going so fast right now. Is anybody else afraid of heights? <laughs> Cause I am. Oh my. I need Kay to tell us the chances. <laughs> oh my. I saw that thing fly and I thought it was that. I feel like this. I feel like this. That whole scene is so powerful. Cassian! <gasps> Shh. 
She's not. She's gonna. Did she? I don't. Expect. <laughs> don't go. I'm here. I'm here. It's okay. Don't fall for us. Chiro. You will always find me. <laughs> oh, he was one of my favorite characters in this movie. <clears throat> They found the Death Star plans. They have to transmit them from their communications tower. Oh. You have to take down the shield gate. <laughs> the only way to get them through. <laughs> His acting in that scene is, was was really good. The the sense of urgency that he put into. <laughs> Everyone's just going down. Can't even like focus on one thing because another one keeps happening. Oh my. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Admiral, receiving transmission from Scarif. <laughs> They did it! You think anybody's listening? Damn. Sir, we're detecting a massive object emerging from hyperspace. No. Rogue One, may the Force be with you. <gasps> All ships, prepare for jump to hyperspace. What? The rebel flagship is disabled, my <sighs> A lord. A great movie. But has received transmissions from the surface. Prepare a boarding party. Yes, my lord. I was thinking of how much they kind of did like a domino effect all for that. And still like Anakin's story is <laughs> Just that domino effect of of offer that, you know? Take it! Take it! Ah! 
Your Highness, the transmission we received. What is it they've sent us? Help. And then Princess Leia has the plans now, and then it goes right into the next movie that we've already watched. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was a great movie. I love that they played the whole domino effect in saving the Death Star plans. So that the most evil being in the universe would not take a hold of the most powerful weapon. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was great. Also, it's really good to be back. Oh my goodness. Um, it's been like a month and a half, I believe, since I haven't been able to like sit down and react to a movie. So doing the second half of Rogue One. <laughs> Crazy, I don't know. Um, anyway, incredible. I loved it. Also, Sorry, it's been such a like a while since I've been back doing this, so I I feel like I need to get back into the rhythm of it. And I don't honestly, I don't think I have any questions in this movie because everything played out, everything played out, and I was not prepared for that second half because uh, everyone everyone was dying for some like for the the same cause and that made it so much more emotional. And then seeing Darth Vader, it's, every time I see him, I think of Anakin's story. So I'm, it sucks because my heart breaks every single time he comes into play with how everything goes down. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below if you guys have any fun facts about this one because um, I had to rewatch the first half and finish the second half now. And I will be heading into the next Star Wars movie or what's next up, which I believe is Return of the Jedi. And I will also be watching a bunch of Patreon picked films specifically for Patreon, as well as new horror movies, especially coming because we are in October. So we're going to be doing a lot of horror movies. And because I, as I believe some of you guys know, if you guys follow along on my streams on Twitch, that I haven't watched the original, like classic horror movies and uh, if you guys do know, I do love horror movies. So we're going to be starting those as well for Patreon. So I'm really excited. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Make sure to stay hydrated, to rest, and to eat. And I'll see you guys later.